part in the Big Boy, Big Boy's Neighborhood. We got a very, very special edition of Big Boy's Off Air. Now we out here, man, NFL Super Bowl weekend is going down. Uh, I really don't want a lot of camera time on exhibit right here <laughs> because I, I, I kind of like being one of the most famous from the West Coast. All right, yeah, yeah. You know yep. what I'm saying? Well, you're the voice of Los Angeles. Oh, you stopped that, brother. Yeah. Man, you said that. <laughs> Todd Mopkins, Todd, I thought you was going to say that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I yeah. want all compliments to come to me. Todd, now, Todd, <laughs> you're, you're from the D. From Detroit. Talk, talk to me about, about your background, bro. Like, well, you know, first of all, when we when we introduce, we always start off by saying, what up, doe? What up, doe? So that's a Detroit grid. Yeah, same here, though. What up, doe? All right. <laughs> now we know. So, you know, my background comes in fashion. Uh, now I do designs, and I'm a consultant with Starter Sportswear. Carl Bank is like my big brother, my mentor. He took me underneath the wing. It's that Detroit Flint connection. So, you know, so now, you know, I do a lot of collaborations with Starter. Oh yeah. Now, Carl Great Banks, Carl man. Banks. First off, welcome to Off Air, bro. Thank welcome you. to. I'm honored to be here, bro. Man, and let me yeah. tell you, if you can find your camera, bro, and show them the, the just a piece of the hardware that you brought to hang out with us, man. Oh. What, what is what is that oh, we looking oh, oh, oh. at right there, uh, Carl? What is that? This is a Super Bowl ring from 2011. Right. Now we saw Eli Manning in the green room. This is his Super Bowl. I heard. That, he was brother. MVP. Now I won two. Go ahead now. With the Giants, uh, defensive MVP of one of those games yes, and in Pasadena. Go ahead now. And um, so I'm here representing my city, my team, and I'm honored to be here with you and my brand starter. I heard that, brother. Mr. X to the Z exhibit yes. is up in here, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Platinum artist, West Coast legend. Hey, bro. X, are you tripping off the legend title now? I am. Yeah, I man. am. I, you know. I try to tell people that you're not. It's. <laughs> <laughs> I try to tell people you're not, but they they insist. So I just yeah. stop fighting, bro. But you I know, mean, what, let me tell you before we before we get in. Like yeah. X is a personal partner of mine as well, right? But I was there from the beginning of X West Coast starting. Yeah, underground. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. And so now when we fast forward to decades later and yeah. everything that you accomplished, yes. not just in music, but being an entrepreneur. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Rap careers are beautiful. Yes. And rap careers are, you know, you, you live off of your career, but it's what you do the same way. Football yeah, it's is like great. Sports. Yeah. It's what you do after what's the end game, what's the right. what's the exit strategy? It's the platform. Yeah, yeah, right? bro. And you right. gotta use the platform the right way. So aside from music X, what's the other things that you do? Man, um, you know, I still consider myself actively as a musician. Oh yeah, right? Yeah, that's first. But I think when you look at the things that have happened, you know, for other artists that come from where we come from, um, when you look at Ice Cube and you see that he not only is a respected artist, but he can know he now he's not only a, a film, you know, entrepreneur. He put out Friday films. He put out and, and, and been and, and, and really pushed himself as an actor. Yeah. And then on top of that, he has the big three. Yeah, it's man. about creating revenue streams with the with the people in the audience that you have, yes, sir. and keeping things that you're interested in in front of them. And so learning from people like that, like Ice T, Dr. Dre, yes, all these people, all my peers that I feel like you know, have, have transcended what they started with. Right, That's right. exactly, you know, the footsteps I want to follow. And you know what's crazy, man, even with your napalm brand, right? When you get a platinum plaque or when you do certain things, at one point, not that we felt like we had it all, but you're like, man, I got this. Yeah. And then you look in the rear view mirror yeah. and you're like, okay, what else do I want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like Magic Johnson as a basketball player, you think like Magic Johnson is amazing. Yeah. Then when you when you see what he's doing off, off the court, yeah. that's when it kind of like. Yeah, but the movie theater start yeah, talking to yourself, him. Yeah, you <laughs> know what I'm saying? And you make yourself the brand. Yeah. You know, and when we talk about brands as well, man, we're here with Starter. And Starter is a brand. Wow. That it's not just about sports or, you know, oh, this team has it, this team. It's lifestyle. You yeah. know what I'm saying, Carl? Like, Starter has been a lifestyle to each and every one of us yeah. that's sitting here. And we all have a Starter story. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? What I got a good one. What Starter did to you. 
come on now, T. Oh, yeah. Talk to me about about the start of just in your life. Well, bro. you know what? I have a I have a great story. Because yeah. first of all, no other brand besides one or two can give you goosebumps like Starter can. Yeah, so, point in general, when I was 16 years old in Detroit, we got three words you never want to hear: check it in. Oh, in come Detroit, on, bro. In Detroit, Detroit you never want to hear check it in. Come on, man. So I was one of the first. Yeah. Julian Coates and, 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 and uh, kangaroo boots. Kangaroo boots and Andy <laughs> goats and all that. So, so the thing about that is. I was 16 years old and I was walking up to this store and I heard those three famous words, check it in. And at that time, I had the hottest starter jacket out. It was the Philadelphia 76 one, the red satin one, the one Dr. J wore in all the ads. And I, man, I was so sad. But ironically, 30 years later, I was able to team up with Starter and recreate that same Philadelphia 76 er starter jacket and put it out. Like, I want more people to be robbed. <laughs> well, no, no, my, no. My thing was this. My You're thing like, was I'll this. Show them. My thing was this. I bet you nobody take this one. Right. And the one thing about starter can do that a lot of brands can't do, you bring back those memories. Yeah, and when people cop these starter jackets, it's like a sense of accomplishment yeah, because man. a lot of us in the city couldn't afford them. Oh, I remember my first starter jacket. Which one was it? You know, my first starter jacket was 49ers. And it's crazy because the one that they said was a check it in. Which one was that? My Philadelphia 76. And where you're from? Yeah. Where Detroit. are you from? Detroit. That's what I was talking about with Carl. I was like, man, it didn't matter where you were. You wore your, you wore your city or your you state. Your city. You know what I'm saying? But it didn't matter who team you was rocking because you rocked it with your shoes. You rocked it with your hoodie. You rocked it because the homies was wearing it. It didn't always have to be, oh, I'm from Detroit, I gotta rock the Lions. Yeah. Nope. I'm from LA, I gotta rock, you know, right. the Rams or something of that nature back then. <laughs> so when you see now, bro, that is something where you have your story. Yes. X, I know you have your story. Oh man, story. I got I, so so hands down, I can't wait to tell you this. Yeah, man. So 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 I was <laughs> like when I was a kid, um, NWA had come out, they had the Raiders gear, they had the starter jackets. I had to have those, so I had every single starter jacket that had Raiders on it. I had the I had the corduroy Raiders hat. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, even, even the Raiders didn't have a yeah, lot of that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yo, I think that was like a turning point where culture saw a brand meet in yeah, the middle, man. and it was like they they yeah. they were more famous for wearing the Raiders and 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 all that gear than the Raiders were as a right, football team. Right. Right. And right. so, and so, well, there's the funny story is this. So, uh, when I was a kid, I, I, I was in I was in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I was running away from home. And I went to the bus station and found a bum. I gave him some money to buy me a bus ticket to go all the way back to Detroit. Wow. It was winter time, and so I was underage. So, in order to make myself look older, I put on my corduroy Raiders hat, starter cap, and I had on a black trench coat. To make myself <laughs> to make myself look a little older. And so when I was on this bus, it took me about four days to get there. Wow. But I remember that specifically. I remember what I was wearing, I remember what I had. But starter has been like part of my whole childhood, even with the collegiate jackets that they used to make. Yeah. You know, like I had all of those things. UNLV. Yeah, absolutely. All yeah. of those things. I had I had all those college and jackets, never North touched Carolina. The campus, though. Ne never you know what I mean? <laughs> on the real, we didn't touch the campus. No. Yeah, yeah. But we had the gear. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Absolutely. Point in general, you tell me something more iconic than the Georgetown jacket. Oh, yeah. oh bro. Oh, dude. Bro, let me tell you, man, I can't even point on a map and tell you where Georgetown is. <laughs> right. But I can tell you I had that starter jacket. Right Absolutely. I can, I can tell yeah. you that. It was like you had to collect them. Yeah. It was oh, like yeah. one of oh, those yeah. things. You couldn't have just one. Yeah. And you had to be the first one with it. Yeah, right. bro. Absolutely. And if you had, and you had to work your way towards your first starter jacket. I mean, as I got older, and then I started like finding my way and finding my identity, yeah, starter man. was like part of that journey. And you know what's you know crazy what I mean? about starter too, Carl, is that you can look back on a picture 10, 20, 15, 25 yeah. years ago, and you won't look at that and say, man, you look goofy, what were you wearing? No. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You, can, you can have an old ass picture and you're wearing starter, and you can look like, unless you had on some weight or you look a little younger or your hair was different, yeah. that starter jacket yeah. maintained its time.
Yeah. Starter jacket wasn't like, if I walked out in a, in a starter's jacket right now, 10 years ago, but it was an old starter's right. jacket, it didn't look the same. Yeah. You were like, oh, that's a dope ass starter jacket. Right. If I walked up here in a members only jacket, they will be like, man, what the hell going on? You good, man? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm Yeah. You, you, you good? You know? Right. And one of the wet look ones too, though. Yeah. Carl, man, what is your relationship and why did you become so associated with the starter? We know now what we see from Nike when they get their athletes, they sign them, all their best players represent the brand, they get their own shoe. Well, Starter was the first to do that, right? Before there was Nike. Starter was a part of every major sports championship. Any, any sport you can name, Starter was in the locker room. You go back and look. So in the 80s when I played for the Giants, Starter was just coming on the scene. I was one of the first players to endorse the brand. So it was that emotional connection, but like what solidified it to me, the cool, right? We were winning in New York and I got that, people liked it, right? But what solidified it for me is that me and my man Pepper Johnson, there was a club in New York called the Red Parrot on Thursday nights. Me and Pepper are going to the Red Parrot. We get out the car and behind us, it's Run DMC. It's DMC and Jam Master J both got on starter jackets, right? And they're like screaming, yo, Banks, yo, Pepper, Giants, baby. And they had, so that told me, like, this is relevant, right? But, like, if you ever met, uh, David Beckerman was the CEO of Starter. He's an old um, high school coach. And he founded the brand, but he was all about the culture of sports. And so, but what he wanted to do is to make fandom a wearable experience. So he wanted to create whatever was on the sidelines was a runway. It wasn't like, I'm gonna just, you know, make it look gr grungy. He wanted fans to feel great about it. But I don't even think he anticipated the likes of an Ice Cube or a Run DMC or Brooke Shields, you can go the gamut. You, I don't think he anticipated uh, two live crew having it on in their, in their, on their album. Yeah. Two live crew, it looked like a two live crew jacket. Yes. When you saw them in that Miami, right. you just felt like that was their jacket. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And you went out and you got that jacket. Yes. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Or the it's UNLV something. running Rebels. Yes. Like that was, but, but the, the jacket, when you, there are so many iconic moments in that jacket from James Worthy and Magic Johnson holding up a championship trophy um, to Emmett Smith, you just name it. But like when you talk about the cultural relevance, it's like it was the blueprint for Nike, right? And now Nike is a whole nother animal, right? But the way, Starter used athletes, they used culture, they made it culturally relevant uh, beyond the sport. That's why you see a lot of uh, Jordan ones out here, right? Because they went from the court to society, right? To, to the culture, from the court to culture. And that's what, what Starter continues to be, because there's no other apparel brand that has transcended sport and culture. To about the Jordan ones, when I look at my man with the Jordan 1s, he's rocking the starter top. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> so, yeah. That's how it goes. Yeah, man. Um, but they're, they're, it's the only apparel brand that's been able to do that. And then you guys were talking like iconic moments, right, with the starter brand. Do you know there's a picture on Google right now of John Gotti in a Raiders game? Oh, wow. Like, it's an FBI photo that they took of him under surveillance. He's walking in an Oakland Raiders, black Oakland Raiders jacket. So, I mean, it transcended all culture. So that's the beautiful part about the brand and what we're doing now, like on the cover of Rolling Stone, and we didn't even send it to him, Kendrick Lamar. Wow. Was wearing um, a white, Chicago White Sox starter jacket on the cover. And so that's another thing that I say with a kid from Compton. Yeah. Wearing a white sock. Yeah. So yeah. the brand just kind of transcends and it's it's great. But you know if we can I want to kind of pivot just a little bit because both of you guys need your flowers. 
Oh, yeah. um, because of what you've done in terms of impacting culture, right? And we knew you as big boy, and we still know you as big boy, yes, but the, the prospect of interviewing the people that you were able to get was unheard of, was unheard of. And I think that in and of itself helped other people in this industry say, you know what? He's got Arsenio Hall on his show. But that, that's, he's got the biggest guy in television sitting down with him, right? And they're friends, right? He's got Magic Johnson where Magic doesn't do a lot of interviews, right? And I'm like, this is where radio is now is because right. of you, right? You. That moves culture, right? Exhibit and I were talking. I had asked you first about why Exhibit stopped doing his car show, Pimp My Ride. He said, well, he's an artist and he's more than that. But I'm like, well, Pimp My Ride was more than the artist, yeah, right? right. right? right. Because, now it, because it showed that entrepreneurial side, that interest outside of just rap music, right? Because we all know the tragic stories of athletes and entertainers, right? They hit it and then disappear because it wasn't another, anything else, right? But what you did was a movement, right? Like, I grew up in the Midwest. He grew up in, we always knew somebody who was up under a car, right? <laughs> but it was what you did is made it glorified in, in terms of doing all the little things, but you created a movement to this day that's still happening. Yeah. And then from not only cars, but now you got shows. Yes. TV shows are home makeover, this makeover, all of that is you, yeah. right? So I'm saluting you because you're moving culture too. Absolutely, thank right? you. Right, so when you guys talk about the different things you can do um, as artists in thinking outside the box or leveraging your brand, I think it's the most beautiful thing in the world, man. Thank so I, I'm just like, you know, we all here doing the same thing. Like Ty has an eye for fashion, right? Everybody wants him to do something with their brand. And when I got the starter brand, it was 10 years ago. I got it because I wanted to do the bear. We were doing iconic, mo iconic moments in movies and we were doing them on jackets, right? And I was like, okay, I gotta do Coming to America. Yeah. And I gotta do um, Beverly Hills Cop, right. Yeah. right? And Ty was at a retailer. He was the first one who helped me put, get those jackets on. Mm -hmm. And so when I got the license for it from the NFL, they're like, you know, the brand's been dead for a long time. I'm like, nah, I can make this happen, yeah. right? So we brought it back. And when he talked about the goosebumps, like he's telling me, Carl, you gotta do it. I got the plan for you, we gonna do, um, Beverly Hills cop because Mumford High School is from Detroit. Yeah. He wore the Mumford shirt. And so we put oh, this thing together. Wow. And then from there, we did the Beverly Hills cop, um, not Beverly Hills cop, but um, Coming to America right. drop. And then we were out the gate because those were the iconic moments yeah. that people related to, right? Oh my God, I remember the um, Coming to America yes. when the, you know he had all the buttons on. We they, did all that, right? To yes. put on a starter jacket yes. yes. yeah. to look American. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Right. So, this is what there they you go. Do. The most iconic brand in sport, in American sport, is because they had to put that on to look American. So, yeah. I mean, but, but that was like where I started right. to relaunch the brand was with him. And now we're just dropping capsules together yeah. of, of just hotness. And then, you know, we took it to a whole nother level um this week because we wanted to do a super bowl collection and michael strahan and i are business partners right and once again we see what athletes can do outside of football because he is a filmmaker he's the host of um good morning america yeah everything right and so uh we do his his msx collection but his manager reached out his partner reached out and said Michael wants to do something elevated for Super Bowl because everything, if you go in this store, everything kind of looks the same, right? And so I um, 
talked to a, a really great graphic artist in New Jersey named Brian Benchley. I'm like, listen, I'm doing this project with Michael Strahan. It's a starter and Michael Strahan collab, but I don't need it to be, all, I want you to take the essence of LA and put it in a jacket. I want glitz, glamour, I want everything. And those jackets you guys are wearing right now, palm trees, surfboard, around, lights around, on the back. Come on now, X. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Hey, now, cha -cha real smooth. <laughs> yeah, so, but that is like, when we do it, we want to do it right. We want to be able to, to make a statement, even, you know, even in this jacket, when Brian did this, he sent it, and he put everything, he had low riders in it, he had everything LA in it. The NFL made us cut back a little bit, but the end result is still amazing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely did that. And what I do want to talk about is there is a, not that there's a different look, but starter of today, of course there's that, the, there's the essence and the things mm -hmm. that we love, but I also love what this looks like. Yes. Yeah. When we start to see more of what this looks like as well. Yeah, we're gonna always continue to, to evolve and elevate, mm -hmm. but the essence of the brand has to say, there are some iconic styles, right? But the art that we put into it, we do that every year, it's going to be something like N NBA All-Star will be a whole nother animal this year. Um, so every year, there's going to be a drop these from time. Are like collectors now, though, right? right. So, this, so is one, like this, this is this is one of one. Yeah, one this ain't done. coming back, right? One and done. So when you get this, and then and, and the way we wanted to do this, and I'm gonna just tell you, to keep it LA, we went to Chic Shoes. Chic Shoes, you're not getting this anywhere, but if you're here in LA or uh, at the at the NFL Experience, or you got to go to Chic Shoes. Right because Sheik Shoe, and Sheik is a good friend of mine, his roots go back to Detroit. Yes, sir. And they owned shoe stores when I was growing up, and I was buying every color Chuck, but that's a whole nother conversation. Listen to that full circle right. too. Check it in for your starter. Mm -hmm. Full circle, now you are a starter. Right. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yes. Right. Your, your situation, you're like, oh, you know, I, yeah. I just want to get in, I just want, now you are a starter. Yes. Right. And yeah. so I was buying Chucks from Chic Shoes. It was a different store in, in, um, in Michigan. Now he's out here on the West Coast doing it and he's a, as much a part of the fabric of the community because when you look at his store right. locations, right, right, right? Right, right? So I reached out to Chic and said, look, we're doing something Super Bowl, but I want it to be LA. I don't want it to be, and no disrespect, because Foot Locker does business with me, I don't want it to be Foot Locker. I want to do something in your store during Super Bowl weekend. We created this jacket. We want to launch it. You're my retail partner. I want to have food trucks, because it's LA. I got right. Sweet Chick right. that's showing up. Mike's Hot Honey is going to be there. <laughs> but I'm trying to make it this the essence of the culture, right? We didn't just drop. Right, 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 right. We didn't right. parachute in to try to do something. We want to make sure that it's reflective of the place that we are with something like this because I think this jacket is one of the most special pieces we've ever done. Yes. It's a collector's piece, not a. Com it's a commemorative, yes, but it's a collector's because you won't get this. This is going to be the LA jacket. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. Now, Micah Parsons, he just got what uh, rookie of the year. Rookie of the year. Bro, I almost gave him my jacket because he wanted it. There you go. You know, I almost gave him my jacket, bro, and I would have had to go chase him down. He has his, though. Yeah, yeah. I had one. Yeah. I gave you him my more. personal jacket, yeah. right? Yeah. Congratulations <laughs> to the young brother, too, man. Yeah, because we love He's him. a starter guy. Yeah, he. Lo I mean, listen, the generations continue, man, and, and we want to keep those emotional connections yeah, coming. Man. This is like reminiscent of what I wore in the locker room, right? right. This is my locker room collection, and I wore this because I wanted to like to show. This is NFL holiday. This is NFL Christmas here, right? Right. right. So everybody's got their favorite team on. I got my favorite team on, but I wanted to represent it with an authentic look from starter. So, but I, I'm, I'm sure he didn't. Micah didn't want to take that picture with me wearing this, but <laughs> then, uh, he's undefeated against the Giants, so I'm sure he was cool with it, but. Um, but that's what it's about, man. Just continuing to to con to, to um, move the culture through the lens of fashion, 
but through sports fashion, yeah. right? This is, is very much a part of streetwear as streetwear itself. Yes. You know, Todd, you, where, where you see it going? Because we, we've been in the rear view mirror, right. and we've seen a lot right. in our rear view mirror. Right. What's through that front windshield? Well, we'll right now, well, right now, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up, because right now, it's, it's, the door is wide open for a brand like Starter, because recently, well, this is our second year, we just did a, a Black History collection. Well, we did red, black, and green starter jackets with yeah, the NBA yeah. and, and I Major League Baseball. So last year was big. This year was even bigger. So we had people like Snoop wear one of uh, Black History Month jackets and CEO in video. We had everybody from Justin Bieber to Jeezy wearing it. Right. So now you're bridging the gap with young and yeah, old. Yeah. And like I said before, no other brand can pull an emotion out like starter. Right. Nobody can because you could wear something right now and be like, oh man, my uncle used to wear that. Yeah. Oh yeah, my yeah. cousin had that cold gold yeah. San Francisco 49. Or you can go in the closet of a family member yeah. yes. and pull that out mm -hmm. and still be able to rock yes. so Remember now, the matte black ones with the hood on it? Right. Yeah. 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 In fact, Tupac. Tupac made that famous when Brenda got a baby. He had the UNLV yes. Parker on. Yes. So it's a style. Look at all those moments, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. moments, yeah. moments in hip hop, moments in just rock and roll. It's everywhere, man. Like that. That was the the, the one item that everybody went to that they could relate to. Like like you said, uh, Tupac had Brenda in that movie. Bre uh, Brenda's had a baby. We're in UNLV. Yeah. Um, but like, there's always a story. In hip hop, in movies, there's somebody you can somebody could think of a movie where they saw a starter jacket. Not just coming to America. Um, right. Tim Tim Allen used to wear it at Home Improvement, right? right? right. Uh, Tom Hanks had a starter sweatshirt on. Like it's it, it was as culturally relevant across the board. And you know what I love about it too, also Carl, is that anyone can get it. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like like even with us, you know. It was seven of seven kids and my mom, yeah. you know, yeah. and eight of us, you know, single parent household, but we could still get it. Yes. Now, I didn't have a lot of them, but I had it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it wasn't like I had to go into this big old designer store and I had to spend a certain amount of money. And that's right. where Starter is at right now. Right. Right. We talk about, you know, the the entertainers of the world and the, and the, you know, celebrities and the sports figures of the world, but there's just that, that Michael that's wearing it. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? There's this Maria Rodriguez that's wearing it. You right. know? Yeah. Like, it's something that we all wear. And sometimes, bro, you see starters so much that you don't even recognize that it's starter. Well, like, you know what I'm saying? Check this like, out. Like, Exhibit and I were just talking because we're going to do something, but he's like, I know you did something with cookies. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, we had a meeting a year and a half ago with Rugi, a uh, Rude, right? Rube created a starter collection because he had an emotional connection with the brand and he wanted to have something uh, with starter that represented Rube. Right. So, I mean, it, when you talk about where it's going, it, it is at the highest levels, is at the mainstream levels, but it's just whatever you like, hey, it's, bro, it's, it's what I starter is. I love to see that starter napalm jacket. Oh, man. Like with the color so though, with the flames. Start a what? Napalm. Wow. Amen. I think we can make that happen, and I'm right? I'm talking about if you if you're not familiar with Exhibit's Napalm logo, I can't wait to see that flame yes. on that black. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the font. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Bro. Oh my God, yeah, it's man. crazy. So, yeah, I'm man. already thinking about what the inside gonna look like. Is this how come together? <laughs> Absolutely. Come together, brother. <laughs> yeah. One thing about starter, every starter. Yeah, yes. man. It, it has to start from somewhere, right? Hey. Yeah. Real talk. Come on, man. Come on. Let me look in the camera and, and trademark that right now. Starter. It's got to start from somewhere. Yeah, just wanted to get that real quick. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, you know. So, so there it is there, man. But it's going to be a hell of a weekend. Super Bowl is going down, man. We've had a chance to run through the NFL experience. You know, hopefully we're going to see a lot of collabs that's coming together. Yes. I can't wait to see what Starter has left for, you know, for us in the future. Yeah. Like I say, man, it's always been a part of my life. What are we going on, year what, 50? 50th year anniversary, yeah. 50th yep. year yep. anniversary. Yep. Yeah, bro. I mean, yeah. just sitting here talking about, and we're just scratching the surface oh, yeah. with 
places we've seen the jacket, who we've seen it on, movies we've seen it in, music videos, you name it, it's been there, right? So um, we just gonna keep the legacy going, man, and growing. And I'm really appreciative of this opportunity to sit with you two legends, man. Um, this, is, this is a special moment because we're launching a great jacket here with two great legends of LA and um, we appreciate the support. Let me ask you this now. Uh, so Chic and here, the only places we can grab Only place you can get this jacket. And that's exclusives. I heard that, yeah. brother. I can't, I can't wait to see. Because I know, Carl, I know you're probably sitting on something in your head that you ain't talking about right now. Yeah. There's a lot. Yeah. Nate Palm's in my head right, right now. Right, so. right, <laughs> right. No, but we've got... Um, How much starter gear, you two, Todd, do y'all have in your, in your household? Let me tell you this. Hey, man, is it tacky, Todd, if, if I open up a gift on Christmas and you gave me something from starter? Are you still doing that? Oh, as you should. So in order to make sure that the integrity of the brand was right, when I got the license for the brand, I went to every thrift store from L.A. to Canada and bought every piece of starter. I had old, old catalogs. If I could find it somewhere, I was getting it. Um, and I just, I, I have a collection of all original pieces from Baseball jerseys to hats, you name it. Wow. I got just about I every piece that was ever made. The baseball jerseys. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh my God. The baseball yeah. short set with the two tone. Man, right. yeah. that was like when I was. Oh, never mind. What? Well, what I, never mind. I was about to expose oh, no, myself. Well, remember crisscross, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, in Atlanta, Chris yeah. Cross was the ones who really made the baseball yeah. jersey. Yeah. I would yeah. leave the spot. I would go to the mall, get my baseball jersey, get my shorts. Out to the club. It was like it was like you didn't even have to go get Amen. dressed. Buy it right there. I don't know how quick you we moving, but if you had like a napalm starter, starter napalm <laughs> short set for the summer. No, but, but the, even, you know what he's saying. Even, right the, now, even that baseball saying? jersey. Summer, yeah. That, that, you that, need that for the summer. Man, I need that. Okay. Just I wait. need the baseball jerseys. Just I need the jacket. I need the hats. Okay. Hey, Come dude, on, the I need the baseball. whole thing. I need Let the starter tell package. You, bro, I never played <laughs> baseball. I never played baseball for like a team sport, but I had starter baseball jerseys. Man, for all, all of them. Because you were Indians? Yeah. Man. Because you were oh LA Kings yeah. hockey LA shirt. Kings hockey. That purple yeah. or, or, or that black one? Yeah. Crazy. The LA the Kings was like the LA Raiders because yeah. they had that black, yeah. yeah. DLC was crocking that. that yeah. was <laughs> there we go. Yeah. And one other thing, like you said, a DOC video, and he yes. was that. Or it's the diggy diggy pom pom. There you go. <laughs> like Let me say, growing up, like, I'm from Detroit, and, and we, we're all from inner cities. Yeah. Growing up in inner city, when you had that on, that was a sense of accomplishment. That's yeah, man. You, was getting. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you had all teams. And you would yeah. wear a different hat, and you, and you, and you would mm -hmm. tuck down the hat like a little donut, and you would wear that hat backwards. And oh, and they you know did that in Detroit. Trip. They, they yeah, didn't Detroit. tuck them Even out with here. This like, like this right here, this may be casual what you rocking, but that's official. Yeah. Like, you can go in anywhere, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's right, yeah. you know what I'm saying? From, 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 from hairline to yeah. Nike sign. Right. Hello, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, but, man, yeah. easy call. Man, but I thank y'all for being we off air with me, man. Please, we come on. But I gotta get me a Super Bowl ring. Did you see when Carl talk his hands? Oh, like, man. Like, like, <laughs> Sanford, like, if I hand would I be sure. Yeah, attention, yeah. yeah. For yeah. one, his damn hand is so built from just wearing it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They call this though, Michael Strahan calls this a four table ring. Explain. Four tables over, you can still see this diamond. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah well, <laughs> that's, I don't have to Straight pay for dinner. AT, but we were talking about it, bro. Like, that gets you in anywhere. Yeah, like, like literally, we, li we can send you with a portable camera and take all your passes off. And you can walk and be like, oh, yeah, and you'll be in there. Yeah. What do you mean I'm not on the list? Man, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's crazy. That's, that's, can, can you look again? Thank you, my I brother. Appreciate you, I appreciate you, man. And we're going to continue to build. We had a great conversation before, great conversation here, man. And we got great conversations we got to do after with, you know, make sure we take care of us as well, man. Believe that, bro. Man, Carl, thank you, brother. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. Mr. X to the Z, thank you. Thank you guys for being 
a part of Off Air, this special, special occasion. And I appreciate you, man. And Starter, come on, man. Wait, Gotta start slogan, somewhere. It all starts from somewhere. If that wasn't it, I'll rewind and check it out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But on the real, man, it all starts from somewhere. Absolutely. And I can't wait to see where we're going to continue to go, bro. Go. A great brand. Thank you, man. Y'all enjoy yourselves. Your partner, Big Boy, thank you for being with us and Starter Off Air. Boom.